This is an oil change for Kawasaki Pro FXT. First thing you do is warm up your engine. I do have my faithful assistant in the back. The next step is to turn off the engine. I'll show you the oil I'm using. I'm using Castrol 10W40. I bought this at O'Reilly's. It costs for 2.1 quarts. I have some for my previous change, so I should be fine. The filter is a Fram 4967. In my earlier video, I sh made it a lot easier to get to this oil filter by this little portal right here at the base of the back seat. It just unscrews, and right there is the filter. So I'll be able to reach out with my hand and take it off here in just a minute on this The drain plug is located about midway of the machine. It's the only oval machine you notice. It requires a 14 millimeter, and I always use an extension. A lot easier to access that plug and drain the oil. Here's the actual oil plug right here. Get a picture of that in there. A little beat up. Okay, here's the plug. Got my drain pan underneath. That oil plug is magnetized, and you can see it does have a small amount of debris on the top. I'll wipe that clean prior to putting it back in. The oil plug, the end. Uh, it has a magnet and it'll have normally a little fine shavings on the end of it. I just wipe that off relatively uh, clean. Oil's not that bad. And it's ready to be put back in after the oil is drained and my filter is taken off. Again, here's the location of the portal. Bella's showing you at the base in the middle of the seat. Reach in that hole, get my hand around it. This is 10 times easier than trying to take it out previously. Kawasaki might want to think about that. Here's the oil filter. Here's the filter. Before I put it back on, I'll take a little oil and rub around that outside ring. Get a good snug fit on it. I have another assistant, Blaze. They're about to go camping, so she thinks we're going somewhere in the side of the side. Okay, I'm putting the filter back in. It, uh, you just need to hand tighten that filter. You don't have to cinch it down uh, with a wrench. Just hand tighten it. Should be plenty tight enough. And it'll come off next time a little bit easier. And once I get it in, I take my portal cover and reapply, and that's good to go. Once I get everything filter on and the plug in, I'll then start putting in my oil. Now to check the oil. Of course, you got to take this side panel off. It just unsnaps here, unsnaps here, and there's your dipstick here. Here's where the oil reads. Uh, that's just two quarts. I need to put the point one in there to get it uh, to be exactly right. Okay, once everything's secured, and I check for no leaks at the bottom. Oil change on a Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT. Hope that helps you a little bit.